Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So uh, here we are in the Fent. Got our MOP in the back in the fertilizer spreader, which is uh, an Amazon ZATS, and uh, we're spreading it on 24 meter tram lines. So on the topping video, someone asked um, for a little bit more on the kind of the operations, the setup, and the Fent and things like that. So uh, I thought I'd quickly run through run through that with you. So starting a, a tractor on, but nothing else, I've driven into the field, which is called Huntingdon, uh, from a field called Crumpness, which I've just done, and it automatically has recognized the field, which is a setting in, in the GPS. If not, you can go and select it. Uh, but you can, as you can see now, is, let's get rid of that, is the, uh, the boundary or the outer, the outer boundary on this bottom corner. So that's fine. Up here, we've got the Amazon fertilizer spreader box. So, uh, give you a kind of bit, bit more interesting when we're running but we've got just over well 1.49 tons in there or 1492 kilograms uh, I'll show you a bit more of this in a bit but what I've been doing um, something to show you is this documentation so I've named it JJ MOP uh, the total worked area I missed the first field so it's yeah I forgot to put it on but otherwise it's pretty accurate um, and I've been zeroing it after every field so I can record the worked area, required time and also the weighed quantity which you then put into this soil iPod, uh, iPad app other. Um, and this is what is telling the fertilizer spreader to vary the rate that's going on. Um, so here we are in Huntingdon, field size 8.84 hectares, product MOP and the total tonnage required for this will be 1.08 in the first spreader. There we go, 1.49, so it will be absolutely fine unless something goes disastrously wrong. Um, but yeah, this is an example of a VR map, variable rate MOP map. Uh, it's not a very good example, but it is an example. So uh, you can see we're basically putting our on as almost like a flat rate, and then just in this top corner, it's either going to increase or decrease in rate. Um, be nice to have a key on there to, to know beforehand, but you kind of figure out anyway. Um, it's just more from like an interest point of view. So, at some point, I'll find a better feel with a good example and uh, upload a video so you can see a little bit more. But this will give you like a, a bit of an insight into into what's going on. So um, that's connected just here, and that's what links those two together, um, along with GPS and lots of clever people. So. Um, yeah, starting up, I've got this set, so at the moment we've not got fixed tram lines, so I'm not using RTK, but what I've done is when I click to have the first spinner down, and it won't move anyway because I've set it up here on the on the rear link arms to, so it can only go down a certain amount, which it's down at now, um, then it kind of starts painting on the GPS. And the GPS isn't really required, It's the only reason I've got it on is so I know I haven't missed a tram line. Um, because you'll see up here, um, like an example of the GPS it's got on there, and you can see it on there, it's just like a further backup, and I think it's good to use it. Um, so yeah, what we'll do, first thing, click resume, because otherwise you forget that. What I've forgotten to do is, we've got it on this refresh button, so you can flick between this page and this page. So that's an example of the field, that's crumpless I've just done. What I'll do is, how do I do this again? Go back. Um, as you can see, I've got a couple of fields there, but I'll delete them. You can save them, I think, but it's easy to delete them. So now I've got nothing kind of blank, doesn't know what's going on. So it's gone to that, and that's kind of your GPS screen, and, and you'll see what it does in a bit, but um, that gives you the auto shut off feature um, which we've got on this spreader which is very very handy um, so what we'll do is we'll go back onto here to turn the spreader on itself you've got to press and hold this disc button beeps at you and then you I don't know if you can hear or see but the discs have gone on and you can definitely see here so you can see them spinning there um, this is not run off a of PTO, it's all hydraulic. So, it's as simple as that. 
if I then click it down, you'll see it doesn't move at all, but it'll start painting on here, which you'll also see. You've got a headland management on page three here, so you can either use these buttons, or you can, it's actually a touch screen. Uh, as you can see, we've got a hedge, so we're gonna have it right up to the hedge rather than the top one, which is through the hedge, which I don't really know why you want on headland or whatever, but um, there you go. Or you can you can make it fall short, so if it's like a margin or something, and you don't want it to spread right onto it, then uh, then you can click that. So we've got that set up now, and the first one we won't have like an auto shut off around the headland, so we'll just as simple as drive. Little button on the back here. Those of you who have driven a fent will know. So hold that in, go forward. I've got it set on C to a um, 14k. So when I hit it to the right, which is like your auto cruise control start going 14k and then I'll turn it on using this button here so you can see it started painting click it on and there we go that's kind of us so um because they aren't fixed tram lines I also use this to make sure because John's been up here with the top down just on the um on the headlands on the tram lines which were quite bad in some places quite deep um obviously Herefordshire gets quite a lot of rain being near Wales, um, so you can make quite a bit of mess in the spring with the with the tram lines. Um, so we just ripped that up, but it allows me. This is set to 24 meters as well to to keep an eye that I'm not kind of over too far or over too far this way. But generally, if you stay on where he's top down, or if you're on the tram line, you'll see it. You'll be absolutely fine. So. Um, yeah, this is saying the actual rate here is 115. You can see that's talking to the Amazon box here. So 115 and 115. Um, this is how much product it's letting through to reach that rate. So if it went up to 200 or something and I kept to the same speed, you'd see this green bar come right across. Um, now you can manually change all these features using these buttons here, in and out. Um, so if the GPS, drops out or something, you're still able to use it. It's not like a, no, it's not like, that's it. So, um, this is kind of us really, about 14K, uh, which I think is probably somewhere around right. Been out and checked, had the Amazon trays out earlier just to check the product was being spread evenly, which it is to be fair. Um, but like I said, the whole idea of MOP is to reach kind of maintenance level in the soil. Um, but you can see us on the iPad here, where we're up to, so if you watch it in a minute, 115, we'll see whether we're, we're gonna increase or decrease the rate. So they go up to 121 now, I haven't touched anything. It's not the best field to show you, 135, there we go. But um, this is all produced from, there's a kind of team of frontier, um, I suppose employees who look after the farm from the agronomist uh, to the guy called Harry. There you go, GPS cut out, but that's fine at the moment on the headland. The only thing that's kind of for is like auto shut off, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but yeah, a guy called Harry kind of looks after the whole variable rate thing, so he produces the files, sends them over, um, and we can download them onto the iPad, and kind of away we go. So, if you keep an eye out in a minute, 130, 129, you'll see as we go into that lighter green, it'll drop down again. There we go, 126. 124 and this TMS kind of works out the the revs you need so if you hear the engine going up and down it's just the revs as we go up or down a hill uh, but generally staying around 14k so yeah 119 coming down just got to remember it chucks the fur quite a way behind you um, so as you come into like a green section it won't automatically change it changes as and when it's needed um, but that's kind of it really fairly straightforward So just go around on the right hand side and then I'm still yet to kind of, as I said in the other video, very new to like the whole fertilizer spreading thing. 
So very much open to tips and tricks and people have been doing it for longer than me, which it's not difficult if you've if you've been on them. Um, so yeah, very open to like ideas and how people think you can improve it and speeds and whatever. But kind of trying to figure out which way John goes with the sprayer. Um, fields vary, so uh, it might be a conversation I have to ask him which way we go. But um, yeah, this won't affect anything, but if you see if I click to lift the vert spreader up, nothing happens, but we stop painting. I'm down again start painting so that's just for me and you can change that to be on the RTK so when you press you know go to, to click into RTK if, RTK if you're rolling or something then it would start painting or if you want to tell it on a PTO uh, link arms then it's absolutely fine so um, so there we go click it off now everything comes back down. Um, so yeah, just now I've got to figure out which way he's going up and down. So I think we'll so if I click onto this next page to get it onto the section control, it does require GPS. We'll give it a go. Click that. There we go. It's working. And then I'll take that headland management off. And as you can see now. If I click onto this page, and we'll just watch this for a little bit, it gives you an idea while I sort of concentrate on driving. But I literally don't have to press anything now at the end, as long as you don't get caught out from the GPS and things like that. <laughs> 